Hello, Hallmark Hot Takers, and welcome to Season 7, Episode... No. Nope. No. Season, season three, 3, Episode, episode seven. 7. This is not going well. I love this. Uh, of Hallmark Hot Takes with Heidi and Jason, where we watch and rate all of the Countdown to Christmas movies from the Hallmark Channel. And to explain our complicated rating system, Jason? It is not a very complicated rating system. It is a candy cane rating system. It is. From one half candy cane out to five candy canes. Each. Add them together out of a possible 10 candy canes. Hey, I, I like clarity. Okay. I know. But and what's the candy that, canes? How are they awarded? That is based on, we give our candy canes based on how much we liked or disliked the movie. So tonight's movie is called A Magical Christmas Village, starring Luke McFarland and Allison Sweeney, Days of Our Lives fame, also a... Hallmark staple. Yes. Uh, I love Allison. She's great. Yeah. Uh, so I'm just going to jump into the rapid recap and hopefully I'll get it right this time. So meet Summer. She is an architect slash designer who is spearheading a rehab of a building that was in, has been in her family for years and now the city owns it. And uh, she has a sister and a mother who is a bit of a free spirit. Uh, these two clash because Summer is very lists and everything's got it at its place and her mom's like oh i'm gonna make my kale smoothies and live on the hippie commune kind of thing and uh her mother breaks up with her boyfriend and then her boyfriend sells the house so the mom doesn't have any place to stay so she comes and stays with summer and the two their personalities just really clash the mother's very uh, vivian is her name she's very free-spirited and she's always telling summer she shouldn't have to worry about things and the universe will fix everything for her and Summer doesn't really care for this because ever since uh, Vivian's husband died, Summer has been the one actually taking care of Vivian and making sure like her bills get paid and all that other stuff. So in the meantime, Summer meets Ryan, who is an engineer who is spearheading the toy drive for the town that he just moved to because he just got out of a messy divorce. And uh, he's deciding whether or not he wants to come live in Bryson Falls where his brother lives. And uh, in all of this, the mother brings to Summer's house this Christmas village that we are told by Vivian is a magic village. Magic. Um, and the daughter, Chloe, Summer's daughter, is very intrigued by the magic of this village and they open it up and Chloe starts moving the pieces around. And everywhere that she moves the pieces, uh, Ryan and Summer kind of either, like the first time she moved the pieces, at their building and then Ryan asked Summer out and then she moved the pieces to the ice skating rink and then they went to the ice skating rink. Yes. So there's a little bit and then it randomly lights up magically. But uh, Ryan and Summer like each other but they're reluctant to start a relationship. Ryan because he doesn't know if he's going to stay in Bryson Falls and Summer because we don't really know why. I think she's just very too orderly for relationships. Yeah. This all comes to a head when we find out that her their mother um, is behind on some bills and it doesn't go well when Summer tries to tell her, hey, you need to like get your crap in order. That's and the right. mom, you know, thinks the universe is going to take care of her. So they get into this big fight and it causes this rift and she moves to the sister's house temporarily. And then Ryan decides he's going to move to California for a new job. And then after a while, uh, Summer and her mom decide that, you know, they both need to, uh, Summer needs to unclench a bit and her mom needs to get her crap together. So they reconcile, but that inspires Summer to tell Ryan how she feels about him. And she does at the toy parade and they kiss and Ryan decides he's gonna stay in Bryson Falls and at the end of the movie, they go back to her house and the whole village is lit up. And that is a magical Christmas village. You know what that was? That was a magical recap. <laughs> it felt magical. It was, I really got to say. I, I, I really listen, found my rhythm. Though. Listening to it, it's perfect. <laughs> I love it. Stay tuned for the review. All right. So let's move on to the ratings portion of the show, which is, again, done via likes and dislikes. So who's going to This is right after the hot take. Like, we just watched this we, movie. Let's dive You in get the thing. hottest of hot takes yeah. at home. We go, don't just call it hot takes. Like, no. It's oh, not sure. just a term. We take it seriously. Right. We literally just watched this movie. Yes. Now you hear it. I'm going to go likes. Okay. Very few. Stop. Don't spoil it. 
Like, well, they're going to know when I do okay, my just three get your things I like to. Stop about uh, it. At one point, uh, the sister talks to Summer. It's like, let me know if you need to help me, uh, if I need to take mom for a walk. Like, my mom was a dog. She says she will take her for long walks away from the house. That, yeah. I think that's the exact quote because I wrote it down and yes. it was hilarious. That was good. I like that. Yeah. Um, I did like the fact that uh, he, within moments of meeting her, asked her out for dinner. Yeah, that was I pretty awesome. That was cool. That was great. I have that as a like as well. Um, and uh, uh, the magic of the lights in the village. That was that was kind of cool. You love so, a, who doesn't love a good Christmas village? Yeah. And uh, that's it. Oh, man. All right. So I have those same likes that you do, except cool. for the other thing that I liked is I actually like Chloe, the daughter. Oh, she was She good. was actually really good in this movie. Yeah. And I kind of wish she was in it more. Yeah. Yes. Um, I kind of like, even though, well, I'll get to that in my likes, but so Vivian, she meets up with, uh, bumps into... Ryan at the grocery store and she's like this health food nut and he's buying a bag of chips and she takes his chips and gives him like some vegetables yams. in it. Two yams. I thought it was funny. Yeah. <laughs> um, what else you got? I, I liked when they fought, when Vivian and Summer fought about the money and how the mom had to start and She taking, put her in a place? She did because the mom kept saying the universe fiz fixes itself and, and Summer was like, no, the universe doesn't fix itself. I fix it for you, and I always, I'm i a big fan of the Piper always gets paid because the Piper, and, you know, Summer's the Piper, and her mom, you know, was right. not realizing that, and I really like that they, that, that was good. Okay. That was it. Those are my likes. No. Oh, and I like the paint color at Newlands, the building she was refurbishing. It was this really nice blue color. We're grasping at straws now. I'm just I liked it. I like the paint color Stop of the it. random building. It wasn't random. It was the building she was working on. They uh, showed it all. We're two minutes into the uh, recap, which was the likes. And it leaves us a good eight or so minutes for the dislikes. Let's I'm do this. I'm starting to dislike let's you. Let's do this. Who's going first? Uh, let's, just, let's just combo all this. All right, combo. Like, first of all, the village pieces aren't in boxes. Now, I realize that their grandfather made these pieces. Yeah, these are, but you don't like, just stick them in. Like, at least be bubble even, wrapped. Uh, maybe. Come on. They have to be... They're just sitting in a box. Right. I didn't like that. You Before I knew they were built by... Actually, in the beginning, they show this village, which isn't the same village, for record, right? In the beginning I credits... I think it is. I it's not it Department is. 56. No. <laughs> so I'm out. It's not the Dickens Village. So I didn't like that. Uh, yeah. Uh, what else you got? The Christmas tree in the construction area. So she's rehabbing this building, and there's drywall and plastic everywhere. But right. in the middle of the room, there's a fully decorated Christmas tree in the middle of a construction right. zone. Stupid. Yeah. I hated the mom. She drove me flipping crazy. I gotta be honest. I love myself some Marlo Thomas, but I hated her character in this movie. Yeah. Like, she went from, like, super annoying to a little bit less annoying back to super annoying. And I... Right. She wasn't, like, quirky. She was just kind of selfish and rude. And I did not, I didn't, I didn't yeah, like it. She was awful. Um, awful. I, the, the whole thing was robotic. Like, there, the chemistry levels, zero. Like, I didn't understand this whole thing. I have, like, four times on this dislike, was, it was weird. There was no stakes. Like, there was nothing... And then at the end, the mom just happened to remember that her husband had a pension that she could... It, right. it, it, like, very robotic. Like, the whole time they're talking, it was like, do you like pros and cons lists? Like, randomly. Right, it was very forced. It's like, what? Like, and, like, there wasn't really a lot of why she was so reluctant. You thought it was because in order for them to make it work, the village had to be a right. thing but it, it wasn't like the village was instrumental in him i guess asking her out right but, but then after that all they did then was just go ice skating so it right. it didn't make any sense and there's that weird he doesn't part. know what color magenta is a there's a scene where he's trying to pick out a notebook for his niece and he's like oh she likes magenta but i'm not even sure i know what color that is you what? don't know what color magenta is really you're an engineer you don't know what color magenta is Stop it. The things Stop. that drove me crazy is these are very talented actor and actresses. I've seen them act before. 
I said that they had bad acting here. Like, it was horrible. Whoa. You know what I didn't like? And this has always bothered me about Allison Sweeney. God love her. I love Allison Sweeney. But she doesn't fake laugh well. I never liked it on Days of Our Lives. She's just not a good fake no. laugher. I don't like it. The but mom, like, so the mom and Vivian and Ryan had randomly kept bumping into each other throughout town and they like forged this little, you know, quirky little relationship. And then he bumps into her and tells her that this is his last week in town. And they've literally met three times. They don't even like know each crying. other's name. She starts crying. And she's like, oh, honey, oh, like, what, get it. This woman needs to get a damn grip. She has no grip. Like, I didn't think that. Summer needed to unclench at all. I thought she was perfectly clenched. Like Summer has a ton of money. This house that she lives in is gigantic. Well, she's a successful and it's just her and her daughter. And they're like, we're worried about like Where's the mom, mom gonna, gonna live? live. Like, and then the other sister's like, well, we could make an apartment or property. Right. She's a, got four kids. Thing. Yeah. Or like, whatever. What? What? It, what? It was silly. Um, I didn't like that. I. The beginning part, like any interaction with the this gingerbread interaction, the mom's being weird to the one other grandchild because like they made the gingerbread like thing in a straight line, and yeah. she was like an absolute jerk. Like like, don't you first, want to make that more scattered? At it's first, I thought it was like a random kid, and then realized it was another grandchild, which she wasn't treating the same way as the other grandchild, like the one that she's showing sharing this magical village with, I'm like. This lady's a psycho. And she kept saying, find out what you want and let the universe bring it to you. That's not how life works. You find out what you want and then you have to go make it happen. Which didn't make any sense because that was supposed to be like, oh, well, yeah. Summer was saying, I'm going to let the universe work. But then she was the one who went and got dressed in that stupid dress and told Ryan how she felt. That wasn't the universe just dropping it in her lap. She had to pro act. So this whole point was just... No. Blah. But with the, at the part where she is like professing her love to her, and then they kiss, and all those people were taking pictures. Uh, this is the other thing that killed me. So they have this toy drive for these kids at the hospital, okay? And it's this big event. They do it Huge. every year, okay? Huge. And they didn't have a Santa. Nope. Okay, so weird guy. In so a hat. weird guy in a top hat who is Ryan and like an old timey suit that like you find Bob, in a Christmas Bob, Bob village. Like yeah, this. is having is handing out toys to these kids. Come on, you couldn't find a Santa suit. No, you... that really irritated me. I, like, who is he supposed to be? Just old timey village guy? Right. I don't understand. Really, like, like shoehorn the fact he's got like this job opportunity in California to leave. He's like, wait, what? Like, this was not nowhere near. Like, there's no talk about, like, him having any kind of, like, different job that took him anywhere. Right. And then he says, he says that he, there's a big, they make a big deal about how his divorce was messy and it was right. awful. And it's traumatizing for him, which is fine. But then he says, there were no bad guys. Yeah. You better believe there was a bad guy if you're yeah. still freaking out bad three guys years later. Bad guys made this movie. <laughs> um... What else didn't you like? Oh, uh, there was just no stakes. There was no reason for her no to dress stakes. up silly at the end and confess her love in front of. That was tying back to like just, the village. I know, I get it. A stupid village. I get it, but I just. I don't know. I, everything is forced. This is robotic. You know who like, I like the most out of all this, instead of Chloe, Chloe and the sister. Her sister. Her sister was okay. I like the sister. Yeah. It was a, a very clunky, robotic, voodoo doll village. Crap. <laughs> wow. So, what are you going to give this guy? I was so mad because I love Christmas Villages, and I was really I mean, excited for this one. And I love Allison Sweeney, and I love Luke McFarland. And you're right. Like, we've seen them in other movies before, and they're so much better. I don't, maybe it's just a bad script or something, no, but it no, did not it work. It did not work. It was bad. It was, I, it, I go candy canes first. I coming down hard, hard after Christmas from a ten. The ghost of Christmas it was really a nine always. and a half that got an extra boost for because it was amazing. Reginald. Yeah. Okay. Like, I'm gonna go half a candy cane. I hated yeah. this thing. This yeah. thing. I I now <laughs> going back in time. Whatever that other bad movie we saw, I would give it a full candy cane compared to this. Really. One. 
Yeah, this was so bad. So I think this movie's bad, but I wasn't as just plum bored as I was with the other movie. So while I think this movie's bad, I don't think it's half candy cane bad. So I'm gonna give it one candy cane. Give it one. Yeah. Uh, just only because I don't know. At least it had a little bit of intrigue with the village, and that was pretty much it. And the daughter yeah, was. I, I, I'll give it to you, Allison Sweeney. She's worth a half a candy cane. She is worth, uh, yeah. Like well, in this, in this, in this, in this realm, a yeah. bad acting movie with her. Yeah, is I'm worth disappointed. Half a I can't believe I, I've never rated one of Allison's movies this low no. before. I'm just, I'm. No, she could have called up Reginald Vale Johnson, and this would have been much better. I was really hoping for better yeah, things. Yeah. But Ridiculous. it didn't get any better. I thought it was going to get better. So it's a one and a halfer. Yeah. I'm so sad. And it puts it at like six on the list of the seven. Yeah. Yikes. Well, this was a real hard fall. Big, big, big fall. Want to do, want to do a preview of the next one? Oh, I guess so. <laughs> struck the camera. That yeah. one subscriber won't like that. That lady. Yeah. What's her name? Marianne? Yeah, I don't know. That's okay. All right. We'll be back for a preview. <laughs> Recover. All right, let's How do we put recover? that aside and move on and talk about the next offering entitled Lights, Camera, Christmas, starring Kimberly Sustad and John Brotherton. I like both of these yeah. two, so I'm expecting great things. So when a holiday rom-com movie shooting in her hometown needs a costume designer, Carrie, a local shop owner, steps into the role. And while working on the movie, she rediscovers her passion for costume design and finds herself falling for Brad, the film's famous leading man. So, who knows? Hey, I'm in. I'm hoping for a rebound. And while this Christmas Village one didn't quite make it to Hallmark Hot Takes Hell, it's knocking on the door. We're gonna... It's at the gateway. Yes. Of hell. Okay, we'll see you next time.